Introducing Tens Children, a group of ten object is called a ten. Now here you'll see a ten of beads. Well, this is a ten of matchsticks. That is a ten of flowers. Yes, that is a ten of sugar cane. Make one group of ten and write how many remain. Now here, let us see the fish. Well, if we circle out ten fish, then four fish remain or four fish left over. Now let us see the bumblebees. Well, if we try and make a group of ten, we will see that two bumblebees are left over or there are two units left over. Here, ten cups are there in the picture. If we make one group of ten cups, well, nothing is left over. So, zero units remain. Children, ten means one ten and zero units. Introducing 11 to 19. Now if you notice there are 10 crops. If we add one more crop, it becomes 10 plus 1 that is 11. Now in 11 crops, if we add one more crop, it will be 11 plus 1 that is 12 crops. In 12 crops, if we add one more crop, it will be 12 plus 1, that is 13 crops. Now in 13 crops, if you add one more crop, it is 13 plus 1, that is 14 crops. Further, in 14 crops, if one more crop is added, it is 14 plus 1, that is 15 crops. We have 15 crops. If we add one more crop to it, we will have 16 crops. Now 16 crops we have. If we add one more, we have 16 plus 1 that is 17 crops. Here we have 17 crops. One more crop is added to it. It is 17 plus 1, 18 crops. In 18 crops, if we add one more crop, it is 18 plus 1, that is 19 crops. Introducing and reading the numbers from 11 to 20. Now you can see string of beads. In the first picture, there is 110. One unit, that is, a string of ten beads and one single bead, which means one ten, one unit. So under tens you write one, under units you write one, and you read it as eleven or ten and one. In the second picture, you will see a string of ten beads and two extra beads. Which means it is 1, 10, 2 units. So under 10s you will write 1 and under units there is 2. We can read it as 12 or 10 and 2. In third picture there is a string of 10 beads and 3 more beads. Which means it is 1, 10, 3 units. So under 10s you write 1. Under units, you write 3. Now you can read it as 13 or 10 and 3. Fourth picture has a string of 10 beads and 4 extra beads. 
which means it is one tenth four units. Under tenth, you write, you'll write one. And under units, it is four. We'll read it as correct. Fourteen or ten and four. We have a string of ten beads and five extra beads. Which means it is one ten, five units. Under tens, put one. Under units, you write five. We'll read it as fifteen or ten and five. A string of ten beads and six more beads. Which means it is one ten six units. So in the tens you write, we'll write one. What about units please? Yes, you'll write six. We can read it as sixteen or ten and six. Now we have a string of ten beads and seven extra beads. So on the tens you write one and under units we have seven. We'll read it as seventeen or ten and seven. Now we have a string of ten beads and eight extra beads. So under tens place you'll write one and under units place you'll write eight. We'll read it as eighteen or ten and eight. We have a string of ten beads and now we have nine extra beads. So under tens you write one and under units yes nine. So we'll read it as nineteen, ten and nine. Now we have two strings Ten beads each, which means it is two tens, zero units. So under tens, you will write two. Under units, you will write zero. We will read it as twenty or ten and ten. Tens and units on a string of beads. Counting numbers up to twenty. If you notice the first string of beads, the pink beads are ten in number. That means they are one ten. And four green beads remain. Which means it is one ten four units. So, in total, it is 14 beads. Now in second string, as you know, pink beads are 10 in number. So, 7 green beads remain. Which means it is 110, 7 units or 17. Now in third string, pink beads are 10 in number. And five green beads remain. So it is one ten five units or fifteen. Now in the next string, pink beads are ten in number and eight extra green beads remain. So it is one ten eight units or eighty. In the next string, besides 10 pink beads, 3 green beads are there. So it means it is 110, 3 units or 13. In the next string, besides 10 pink beads, 1 bead is there in green. Which means it is 110, 1 unit. Or 11. In the next string, 10 pink beads are there along with 6 green beads. 
which means it is 110, 6 units or 16. In the next ring, along with 10 pink beads, there are 9 green beads, which means it is 110, 9 units or 19. Now in the last ring, there are 10 pink beads along with 2 green beads. So, it is 110, 2 units or 12. 